what's going on YouTube back with another video and today I want to do a preview of uh, a semi new bike not that new uh, we've had it for a while but um, it hasn't even been ridden on yet just because of a lot of things that's going on so without further ado I'm going to go ahead and introduce the bike I want to show you the Trek Marlin 6 the women's version of the Trek Marlin 6 in the Aloha green colorway <laughs> Now this particular bike is labeled as a 20 slash 2021 model year so when I actually bought this bike it was labeled as a 2020 but if you go to the Trek website right now it is labeled as a 2021. Cool thing about this bike is uh, it retails for $650 um, and it comes with some pretty good specs uh, for an entry level bike. Uh, it does have a 2x8 drivetrain as you can see right here showed just a minute ago but you have your two over here and then you have your eight speed over here and um, I kind of go over a little bit more of the the specs um, the extra small and small version of this actually have the 27.5 tires and if you get anything um, larger than that I believe you can go up to the 29 inch tires uh, it has the kickstand that you that's kind of built in. You have to buy the kickstand separately, but it has. It has a rack mount and kickstand mount already built in. Um, the kickstand actually does cost, I think, anywhere from $12 to $15 extra, but the holes are already built in for it to go in. Um, it's backed by the Trex Lifetime Warranty. You have Shimano cranks. You have the Shimano uh, Altus uh, derailleur. And again, it is a 2x8. Um, and it's built on the silver alpha aluminum um, frame, which is a pretty good uh, entry level frame as well. Um, trying to see some other specs that I can give you uh, for it. The cool thing about the bike as well is that it has a curved frame for easy entry onto the bike. Um, the wheels, let's see, I'm sorry, the actual tires are your Bontrager XR2 comps and uh, the shifters, you have your Shimano Altus uh, M315 8 speed. Uh, the front derailleur is the Shimano Altus as well. And your crank. And it doesn't weigh that much, I would say weight-wise, this is probably going in under 30 pounds, probably around the 25 to 30 pound range. 
uh, you see your um, your Suntour XCT fork in the front. It does have a lockout as well. And so yeah, just for the basic components that you get on the bike for $650, I think this is a pretty good deal. Better than the Marlin 5. Um, because I get a lot of questions about some of my other bikes as far as the GT Aggressor and the GT Avalanche and things of that nature. And those are still good entry level bikes. But don't forget there's other good entry level bikes as well. And these days, bikes are becoming hard to find because of COVID they're selling out like crazy and I'm actually going to do another video I'm gonna hit about five or six uh, stores I'm gonna hit some bike shops and I'm also going to hit some um, some local department stores and to see what bikes are in stock but if you can find this for the retail price I do think this is a great entry-level bike whether you get the man's version or the women's version the Trek series is definitely a good entry-level series um, you wouldn't have to do a whole lot of upgrades especially if you can get the 2x8 which I think is only on the Marlin 6 and 7 these days. Uh, the Marlin 5, from my understanding, still has the 3 by system. But if you can get um, one of these, you'll pay a little bit more, but I, I guarantee you it'll be um, an investment uh, in the long run. Another cool thing about the Trek Marlin series bikes is you have your internal routing cables, which I think is really cool, especially if you're going to put a dropper post. And it just gives the whole bike a sleeker, uh, neat look. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you the Trek Marlin 6 Series in the Aloha green color. Uh, again, the only difference between this and stock is the stocks don't come with um, the water bottle cage. They won't come with the kickstand and it won't come with the pink pedals. The pedals will be the same color as these grips. And it won't come with the, the phone mount holder or whatever the case may be. I already did a review on this one early in one of my other videos. But yeah, this is a great entry level bike if this is something that you can find. Uh, a lot of people these days are buying bikes, you know, to try to get exercises because they don't feel comfortable going to the gym. So there has been a, a surge in bike sales. The thing about this, though, um, if you can't find it in your local bike shop, I know it's not selling on the Trek website anymore. That's where I actually bought it from when I bought it earlier this year. But even then, it still took a while to actually get delivered to the shop just because they were backed up. So nowadays, um, what I'm finding out is if you go on apps like OfferUp or Let Go, there's a lot of people who bought these bikes and are reselling them because they just don't have time to ride or they just didn't get into it like they thought they would. And so you can find some pretty decent deals on, on those websites, I mean, on those apps. But other than that, guys, this is pretty much it. You can see the tires, like, it hasn't even been ridden in the actual trail or dirt as of yet. It's brand new. Um, probably will switch the tires out eventually. I have some, uh, some other Maxxis tires that I can put on there. But other than that, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the, the Trek Marlin 6. And there are other colorways that it comes in if you were to get the women's version um there is like a purple like plum color uh, i think it's called the um mulberry color and then there's another colorway called the miami green which is kind of similar to this color but just a little bit different this is more of a light mint green compared to the darker miami green one that you see online uh there is a men's version of this as well uh, the men's version comes in different colorways and it does not have the bent or um, dip in the actual frame this is just easier for someone to actually step over the frame and that's why they usually put the dip on the women's version so other than that guys uh, hope you like it hope you you know if you hope you can find it this this is the colorway or something that you're interested in but definitely a good bike definitely worth the price uh, even if you have to pay the retail for it. So other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.